Okay, hi again. Um, I'm just going to go through the transformer ratio answers, but I'll do uh, a full example of question one, show you how we did that. Um, and the idea with these, the good idea with these, uh, when answering these questions, is always to sketch a little transformer, primary and secondary, and then give the information put the information in that sketch that you're given in the question. So in this question, it says a transformer has got 200 volts on the primary, so we show that's 200 volts, and it's got um, 500 turns on it there. And it's asking how many turns are needed on the secondary in order to get 24 volts. So we've got 24 volts on the uh, secondary there. Well, when you're answering these questions, to get full marks, you need to do a formula, do the calculation, and then do the uh, answer, giving the correct units. So you get full marks for a formula, a calculation, and the correct units. So we know from our basic uh, formula, this one, that uh, we need to use a pair of these. So in this case, to find the first one, we're asked to find turns on the secondary. We're given turns on the primary. We're given a primary voltage and a secondary voltage. I can use this pair here, VP over VS equals NP over NS. So we write that down. That's the formula you're gonna use, V primary over V secondary equals N primary over N secondary. And that comes to as 200, put the figures in, 200 divided by 24 equals 500 divided by NS. Cross multiply to uh, get rid of the fractions. So 200 times NS equals 500 times 24. Therefore NS equals 500 times 24 divided by 200 and that comes to 60 turns. So now you've got 60 turns on the secondary which you can put there. So that's part one done. Part two of the question is saying the secondary is connected to a load of 150 ohms what will the current be in the primary? So it's telling you that there's now a load here which you can just sketch in of 150 ohms on the secondary so some current is now going to flow around that secondary and because this is a step down transformer the current in this primary will be less than the current in the secondary so let's have a look at that the formula you're going to use so you say if the load is uh, 150 ohms then i secondary equals V secondary over R equals 24 divided by 150 equals 0.16 amps, 0.16 of an amp. So your new formula now, you know V primary over V secondary. And now we're looking for current. So we're going to use this and this, so V primary and V secondary, I secondary, I primary, because we're looking for currents. So I secondary on the top, I primary on the bottom, substitute the figures, V primary over V second, uh, V primary is 200 volts, secondary is 24 volts, equals 0 0.16, 0 0.16, which is our secondary current, and we're trying to find our primary current on the bottom. So now we need to cross multiply that. So 200 times I primary equals 24 times 0.16. So I primary equals 24 times 0.16 divided by 200. And that comes on your calculator, that comes to 0. 0, 0.019 of an amp. The third part, 
I'll be doing for time. Okay, four minutes. I've got the third part. We're now saying that uh, the primary voltage goes up to 230 volts. So now, what are these new turns going to be? We've got to reduce these turns to keep this output at 24 volts. So therefore, the new formula you're going to use is the same one as this one. V primary over V secondary equals M primary over N secondary. Put the figures in. The new primary voltage is 230 volts. Secondary voltage is 24. Numbers of turns on the primary stays at 500. And we're trying to find the new secondary turns. Cross multiply. 230 times NS equals 24 times 500. Can you still see that on there? Yeah. Just push that up a little bit. So NS equals 24 times 500 divided by 230 equals uh, 52 turns. So the new turns is 52. The original was 60. So we need to reduce it by reduced by 60 minus 52 turns equals 8 turns. Okay, I think that's it. So that's question one for you. Question two is there. Question three. Question four is on this side here. And finally, question five. Okay, so if you could make sure you do all those, um, it'll put you in good stead for the uh, exam on Friday. Okay, thanks very much. Bye now. Yeah.